All right, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to the next part. We're in Trinsic right now. Trinsic, of course, the city of honor. We are worthy of partial avatarhood in this honor, uh, in this field, uh, in the field. Okay, so this guy talks about his grandpappy. I know where the ruin is, and this old potter over here is supposed to tell us, but he won't. So I'm just gonna have to grab my thing. Yeah, unfortunately, he says that bull crap there. So the uh, the ruin is here, somewhere. Okay, it's in it's in his darn field. But this jerk uh, refuses to tell us anything. So give me a second here while I search the grounds. I know this is annoying, and I don't know which way. I remember this from playing it before that it's in his darn field. Ah, well, this is certainly irritating. Yeah, I have no idea what the trigger is for him to actually tell us about anything. Yeah. Ah, there we go. I found the Rune of Honor. This should have a little musical jingle. You got anything to say now, old man? You know, if we wouldn't get penalized for it, I would totally, I would totally uh, beat him up right now for being such a jerk about the whole deal. I mean, come on. And then, uh, remember the lady down here? So we can go down here, actually. It's not a lady, actually. It's a dude mage. Oh, oh, we didn't get poisoned. That's nice. Honor is made of courage and truth. Consider it well. I've written that down on my handy dandy. This time we got poison. But that's easy enough to solve. So we just use cure. Poison left here. Very nice. So, that's very good. And I'm certainly glad that that worked out. Now that we've got the ruin and we're worthy of partial avatar hood in that aspect, aspect, aspect. Uh, one sec, I'm gonna look at my world map really quick. Ah! I'm not quick enough because we got a big, big time fight here, not really. With the wand, I mean, we make child's play out of almost everything. I suppose I could level up a little bit more. Uh, I don't know if I'll do that though, because why Why ruin a good thing where we start having like tougher fights? Okay, so we gotta go down here, I believe. No, 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 no. So we gotta run through the swamps. I think I made a boo boo. Maybe? Hard to say. Yeah, okay, here we go. And that'll be two out of six after this one. And then we can quickly jump off to another one. We're gonna go to a new town. Uh, we're just gonna have to steal a ship. We're gonna have to commandeer a ship, you might say. So I found this part of the game very fun when I when I first started playing it. Just to kind of search it around, writing down clues, you know. And I, and I did my best not to ever use a guide unless I really felt I was stumped. Hey, we didn't get poisoned. Hello. I guard the Shrine of Honor. Enter in peace, friend. You bet we will. Home slice. And he said, what was trying of honor? Speak now unto the onk. Can you speak unto an onk? All right, three cycles, baby. That was the chief partial avatar, hood and the virtue of honor. Yeah, it's a little bit weird that there's no music to go along with that. Because I think it should be like some sort of little achievement jingle. Ah. No, nah, no, nah, we got lucky, but not that lucky. That's okay. Let's go ahead and use cure. We can use view, which I have no idea what view does. Now I gotta find a, a pirate ship to uh, to jack, pretty much. Uh, because where we wanna go, Gelholm, it's off the coast to, to the, uh, the uh, what's the name, to the western, westerly direction. And, uh, or just west, if you prefer. Which is a cool, uh, a cool little. Uh, we can put that all together. We're very and the 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 shrine and the town are very close together. So it kind of works out. Ooh, look at you, Mister Ship. Come here. Can you get up here? No, the ship is too dumb to. God dang it! Got to go somewhere with a better coastline, I suppose. Aha! There we go. And unfortunately, we do have to kill all these pirates, which is rather annoying. But uh, bear with me, please. And we get no goldfish, despite the fact that we're killing pirates who, you know, understandably should have uh, much gold booty that we could seize. But it's, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. And unfortunately, we don't get, uh, at least if this, if the PC version of this game is anything like the version of 5 uh, for the PC. Like, enemies would drop tons of, like, gear that we could sell. So it wasn't only that we would get money from the battles, but they would just drop all kinds of gear 
which we could sell because that if, you know after a while you have enough you know nice so we got our ship and oh fuck well we got our ship and we also got this battle here which might be for the best actually because there's a pirate ship right there and pirate battles are a lot more annoying and a lot less rewarding than killing these dudes whereas this thing is fantabulous okay Thank you. I was gonna say, where's my ship at? It better still be there. They're not a winked out of existence. Oh crap! So I gotta ooh, go around here. Luckily, we're a little bit faster than the pirates. And uh, there's one thing I like that they did for this game. They made the wind a lot less annoying than it was in Ultima uh, Exodus. In Ultima Exodus, of course, if you didn't. Uh, if you dorked up, uh-oh, uh, no, if the wind was going the wrong way, you would move painfully slow, and it really, I mean, I guess it added an additional aspect when you were trying to avoid enemies, but it wasn't very fun, you know, nobody wanted to deal with that kind of crap. Yeah, just like I don't want to deal with fighting any pirates. Of course, the sea monsters were a lot more uh, threatening. Uh, in the last game, so. I'd say in some ways they made this game better, in other ways I think they made it worse. I don't think the music is good. I like the music from Ultima 3, and maybe that's just a nostalgia talking because I remember every tune from that game because I played it as a kid. All right, here we are, the city of honor. No, not of honor, Valor. The warrior's homestead. Valor is always welcome here. Yes, indeed, and that's one of those uh, stats that's real easy to increase. The island shrine requires Valor's ruin. Yeah, and the mantra, but we don't need the mantra because they got rid of mantras. I have known but a single defeat when the man in black came. He said his business was none of ours and fell me with the flat of his sword. I don't know who the man in black is. I don't know if we ever do learn that. But pretty neat. Right. Welcome to the pub. Nah. Wait, wait. We'll learn about the sextant, right? Yeah, how about, huh, not much going on. My memory seems rusty. Uh, how about 50? You're a jerk. 100? Excuse me? A sextant. Say select in the Vesper Guild. Ooh, uh, I'm actually gonna write that down if you'll allow me. Okay, sextant and Vesper. Guild. Yeah, the password is often select, uh, but I wrote that down for later. But now let's see if we can get that ruin for Pete's sake. I am Jeff, soldier of valor. Dost thou fight bravely? Canst thou laugh in the face of sir? Sure. I can lend thee the strength of a dozen men. No. Huh. No, I don't want anybody to come with me. Uh, and I'm guessing this is his uh, humble abode here. Is there any secret walls? I don't see any offhand. But there it's very subtle when the wall is fake. And nope, his little I guess they just made this to be like, well, we've gotta know where this guy sleeps. Nobody's gonna buy that Jeff will join us unless we know he has a bedroom. I suppose. I'm not sure. Well there's his bed right there. There's another bed. No one there. Well, yeah, I guess you got a point there. Red is the color of valor. To find the key of courage, the red stone is necessary. Yes, all right, there's two fake walls. All right, yeah, this one will take us over to the river and through the woods. That's good, that one will take us to treasure that we're not allowed to touch. All right, let's use the spell of the spell. There we go, very nice. All right, so what do we have down here? Hopefully we'll have that darn ruin. Ah! I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. Ah, uh, cure. And of course, walking around will recover your health. In the dungeon, da Dester, 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 the altar of courage can be found. It connects to the dungeon's covetous shame and hip ball. That's not really that important. Because uh, we're going to want to go on all those darn things eventually. Alright, dispel. So. 
If we needed more magic, we could simply just walk around more. What the fudge is this crap? All right, let's continue on. Although we, we're not getting our magic bag that quick now, are we? Uh, okay. Oh, we didn't get poisoned from that, which is kind of sweet. Oh, and there's a ghost. I am, or I was, Nostro. I have found the ruin, but I cannot leave this room. In my stead, canst thou take the ruin eventually? Sure. The ruin is in the corner of this very room. Uh, I don't suppose it's any of the nice corners. So Nostro, huh? Is my magic really not gonna refill? Huh, oh, that's funny. I thought magic did refill. Okay. Well, it looks like I have to go... I should've went that way. Okay. Uh, can I not get out of here ever because of that barrier? Um, yeah, it kind of seems that way. Really? I thought, I thought you would get magic back uh, by walking around. Okay. How much does that take? Oh, I didn't even take that much. What, that took like seven off? Are you kidding me? Are you... I thought that was like freaking deadly. Oh my lord. Alright, whatever. Jeez. Now I'm ashamed. Okay, I got the Rune of Valor. Oh. Yeah, sorry friends. I really... Because of the, the, the barriers in... Uh, the force barriers in uh, Ultima 3 were absolutely deadly and absolutely fatal to touch until you got the mark of force and in um, Dragon Warrior as well so I figured these were you know death becomes her style uh, let me stay at the end actually not because of the stupid barriers but because I think I need my magic back hopefully this will give me my magic back Ah, oh, jeez, what a what a what a waste NATO of my five dollars on soon, but that's okay. And we had to waste a hundred bucks on that stupid barkeep. Memory seems rusty. I'll give you memory seems rusty, yo. Alright, so let's take a look here. Of course we're gonna go for our partial avatar hood and Valor. Uh we refuse old Jeffy Jeff. But she's not one of the more famous guys. I, I used him when I beat this game last time. What are we selling? Ah, yeah. I think the only thing that Drew can use is leather anyway. He can't use anything heavier than that. Uh, and of course, none of that is needed because this is as good as it gets, baby. Alright. Uh, sure. No, I don't need any of that. Without giving my own blood, sure. Yeah, so it takes 100 hit points, but that's okay. I fell in the dungeon desert, seeking the red stone of valor. I fear I failed in my quest. Yeah, I suppose if your quest was to get the red stone of valor, and you didn't get it, I mean, that is that is failure. I mean, I don't want to make it feel bad or anything. Yeah, I'm not really sure what we're supposed to get out of here. Let's see if I can uh, look here. Are there three spots to look? Yeah, there are. I doubt there's anything. They're really a reward you for going through this secret passageway. Oh wait, is there a way around? Let me see this real quick. No, none of those are fake walls. Okay, that's too bad. Because that would have been kind of neat if there was like, you could only see it for a moment. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and meditate at the shrine. And hopefully that will be enough. this will not turn into a gigantic pain in the in the rear end I don't think it will though look at that you can't reach the shrine from anywhere else but like god dang it I was hoping we wouldn't get a water battle and this thing is based on time it's not based on like movement so if you stand still you'll still get in a fight which is a kind of interesting system uh, you don't see that much it's fine it's not a big deal I'm not I'm not mad about it you know I'm mad actually I got nothing but love for you uh, but yeah. And now it's time to go pray under the shrine. Hopefully this all my spirituality as well. And they all look the same. I like this music though. I still really like this music. 
I'm not even gonna bother talking to that old dude. Three cycles. Yeah. All right, we're three for eight, boys. Three for eight. Okay, so I think that's probably enough. So I thank you very much for joining me for this game. Hopefully you'll join me for the next uh, portion. Jeez, what are we gonna do in the next portion? Uh, I'm gonna go check out my, my moral goodness. And then after that, we will uh, we'll reconvene and see what our next move is. Basically, everything's towards becoming an avatar now. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.